guys, how you doing? So today I'm going to be talking about how Jesus looks at you. So I have three scriptures that are talking about this subject. The first scripture I share with you guys is John 1 verse 48. How do you know me? Nathaniel asked. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Jesus knows who you are inside. He knows who you're going to become. And he knows how you feel. He knows the times that you're going through right now and you feel like you're not going anywhere. You feel like you're left alone and just left for dead. And you feel like the Lord doesn't care about you. And you feel like the, just because you have all this sin and all this flaw that Jesus completely overlooks the person you are inside and it's the outside that he's concerned with and the sin. But that's not true because Jesus looks at the inside. He looks at the warrior you are and he looks at all of the stuff that you've gone through. Yes, you mess up continuously and you may you may be tricked into going back to your old ways sometime. You may flop from time to time and you may you may do unforgivable things, but God is a God of mercy and God is a God of love. Jesus sees you for who you are inside. That's the devil making you do those things. We all have a sin nature, but Jesus looks at us for the person that we are. Our nature does not define us. Our hearts do. And we're defined by the God that saved our lives. We're defined by His mercy. We are defined by His love. And His favor sh shines down on us. It doesn't just shine on the perfect. You know, the people that are up there, and when I mean prep, well, I don't mean to say perfect, I mean like, you know, popular. You know, people who are doing the go work of God. You know, people who are just starting out, His favor shines on them too. The person that you are, you know, who God sees you as, you're a good person, and Jesus sees you for that person. He doesn't see you for the person that you think you are, that the enemy is lying to you that you are. Because Jesus looks at you. He doesn't look at the lies of the enemy. He looks at the heart. Just remember that. Jesus has got big plans for you. Jesus is taking you somewhere. The enemy wouldn't throw, attack you this badly if you weren't going anywhere. He wouldn't try to convince you of his so-called what Satan claims to be the truth is a lie. It's all a lie. It's just a distraction to distract you from the here and now. What you're supposed to be doing. Just reflect on that right now. Forget what Satan has told you this week. And just focus on what Jesus has been telling you. Because he is the truth. Not Satan. Alright. Second scripture. John 1 verse 46. Nazareth, can anything good come from there? Nathaniel asked. Come and see, said Philip. There will come an opportunity in your life when you are used by God and when God uses His power through you. You will be out there sharing His love and mercy and people will be impacted by your words coming from God. God will give you the words, not, not you. Their words are not your own. People will see Jesus inside of you. It's the work of God. God is not looking for the perfect people. He's looking for people who are honest and truly want to serve God. But when that moment comes, you will just be so filled with joy because you'll see souls saved and you'll see lives transformed because Jesus shines in you. Jesus is shown in you because of your heart, how you act and how how you talk to people because Jesus gives you that joy 
Without Jesus, you would be down all the time. Without Jesus, you would be over there thinking about something you shouldn't. It's because of Jesus that you have access to this kind of... How do I say it? It's because of Jesus that you know so much, that Jesus has revealed to you. that you, It's only by Jesus that you're being used right now to share his word. It's only by Jesus that lives are changed. People need to see Jesus in people. When they see Jesus in you, they will come to Jesus. They will be desperate for a new life. They want that, that relationship with Jesus that he's offering. He, when they realize that he doesn't come to condemn and, to, and, and that he comes to rescue, they, they'll want to accept him as their Lord and Savior because that's who Jesus is. Jesus is not a judger. Sorry. He is not the judge. You know, he's he is the judge, but I mean, he doesn't come to condemn you. He's not the condemner. He's the savior, and he is he's the one that saves you out of your situation and out of your problem. He'll use you to reach people in a mighty way, and you will be used to impact so many lives because Jesus has done this through you. He's doing works in you and he's doing mighty things in the world. People don't see it in you yet, but when that moment comes, people will be healed, people will be changed, and you will feel the Holy Spirit inside of you and that will give you so much joy. It truly will, guys. Just remember that. Reflect on it right now. Alright. Third and foul scripture. John 1 verse 51. He then added, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Jesus says that you will see heaven. It's not probably... As long as you come back to Jesus every time you sin, and as long as you keep seeking Jesus and getting deeper into his word, and as long as you keep just loving him and following him, no matter what the enemy puts in your mind or whatever you, you drag back into your mind, as long as you go back to Jesus and ask him to forgive you of your sin, he will forgive you. And I'm not saying that you should keep doing this, because you shouldn't. You should let things go. There are things in your life that need to be let go. Believe me, I know. But you will get to heaven. You will see Jesus. Jesus will take you to be with him forever. Jesus says, in his Father's house are many mansions. He would have not told us this if it wasn't the case. He said so. Jesus says that we will see heaven open. We will be taken to heaven with him. That day is coming upon us. We will see him as he is. and We will be with him forever and ever, for all eternity. And we will receive eternal life. We will. Jesus will do mighty things through us, big things. He looks at you. That's the person that you are. It's not the... It's not the lies of the enemy that define who you are. It's the love of Christ. So as long as you keep following God, it doesn't matter what the enemy puts in your mind because Jesus' love overpowers everything that the enemy throws at you. You cannot defeat Christ. If you try to fight him, he will always win. It's just surrender to him. Let him do the work. Don't do the heavy lifting. You can't do this by yourself. Only Jesus can. And Jesus will never allow you to fall to the adversary. Just stay with Jesus and you'll be all right. Just reflect on that right now. Forget about the devil's lies. Focus on God's truth. 
Just remember that. Just, just focus on God right now. Reflect on it, what I just told you. All right, I hope you got some notes, guys. I love you. I'm going to close in prayer. I thank you, Lord, for giving me this awesome word, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for forgiving me for all the things that I've done in my life, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for seeing me for who I am. Let, let, let them just know that you see them for who they are inside. And it doesn't matter how many times they sin, no matter how many times the enemy tries to trick them into believing his version of the truth, which is not the truth. Your truth is the only truth, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for revealing yourself to me, Lord. Please, Lord, reveal yourself to them that you are a loving God. You are not a, a God that condemns. You are a God that loves unconditionally, and you are always there to bring up people that are down, no matter what, no matter how many times they push you away. As long as they come back to you, Lord, you will always help them, Lord. It doesn't matter. You were with us from the very beginning, and you're still with us now, Lord. Please, Lord, let us just block the enemy's lies out. Please forgive us when we believe the enemy. And let us just go out and share God and share your love, Lord. Your love and mercy, Lord, because they need to be touched by your love. Please, Lord, let us just shine for you, Lord. Let us just show you to the to people, Lord, that are lost and that are dying inside. Let them just see you and us, Lord. Please, Lord, let them just grab hold of your love, Lord. Let them never let go of you, Lord. Let them just accept you as for who you are, as their Lord and Savior. Let them see you for who, the, for who you are, Lord. I praise you in your awesome, glorious, beautiful name. You are awesome, and you greatly be praised, Lord. Lord, continue to let us be your light, Lord. Please shine in us, Lord, praising your name. Amen. All right, so guys, remember, I'm just plain simple, but he is not. He's beautiful, and he's lovely, and he is glorious. And he's, he looks at you for who you are. He looks on the inside. He looks at you, who you are, not who Satan says you are. So believe in God. And believe in Jesus. Don't believe what Satan is telling you. Believe what Jesus is telling you. Because Jesus is telling you the truth. Just remember that. And when times get tough, praise God in the storm. There will be many storms in your life. But God will get you through them. See you guys. Please like and subscribe. God bless.